Hello friends, welcome to Automation Community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about home and parking lights. So, let's look at the example first. Home and parking lights. When the lights are turned off in a building, an exit door light remain on for 15 seconds. After that, the parking lot lights get on until car gets out of the parking. So for this, we will use normally open contacts. And also, we will use negated coils. And also, we will use normally open normally closed contacts we will also be using some timers like pulse timer and on delay timer so let's move to eco structure machine expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for home and parking lights I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive as well. That results uploading the application from the controller is unrestricted. And downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller is unrestricted. So if I keep it active, then Uploading the application from the controller is disabled due to the blank password. That means if we keep it active, we have to set password here. And then, then uploading the application from the controller will be restricted. That means it will need a password. And also, downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller will be restricted. That is, it will ask for the password that we have put it here. So for now, I will keep it inactive for read protection as well as write protection. And then I will click on apply. So after that, I will go to configuration tab. So here we have to select the logic controller. We have to configure the device in this tab. So here, is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and then drag it to here. Do you want to replace TM221M16RG by TM221C24R? You may lose some features and associated configuration. So I want to replace it. So I will click on yes. So here is a device description about TM221C24R. That is, it has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port, and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. So after that, I can also go to serial line, where I will select protocol as TMH2GDB. I can also set it as Modbus, ASC, II, 
TMS 2GDB or Modbus Serial IO Scanner. I will keep it TMS 2GDB for now. And then I will click on Apply. So if I keep protocol as TMS 2GDB, then there is no need to, up to set the serial line settings. So after that, I will click on Programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram. So I will click on full screen mode and then zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert a normally open it. I will also assign address to it as I 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as start button. Yes. And then I will insert a coil. And I will assign address to it as M0, which is a memory bit. And then we will add it here. So I will assign address to it as M0. And then I will click on this option and then draw a line like this. So when start button is turned on, M0 will be on. And when it is turned off, M0 will be on. So it is a push button. So when it is pressed and released, M0 will be on. And then I will add a new rung here and I will insert to normally open contacts. And I will assign address to the first one as M0, which is a memory bit which is storing the data that start push button was pressed. And then I will assign address to this normally open contact as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as lights off. So this is a button which is used to turn off the room lights, to, uh, to turn off all the lights in the building. So we will use negated coils here. Suppose there are four lights in the room. And then I will assign address to it as Q 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as light 1. Yes. And then Q 0.1. And symbol as light 2. Yes. And then Q 0 0.2. That is light 3. Yes. And then light 4. Sorry. Q. 0.3 and symbol as light 4. Yes. I will also add one more coil here and then I will connect it like this. And then I will assign address to this to this coil as Q 0 0.4 and I will also add symbol to it as exit light that is placed at the exit of that building. So when M0 is true that is 
button was pressed and the light saw button is turned on then light 1 light 2 light 3 and light 4 will be off and before that as we are using negated coils that means when inputs are off then in the initial state light 1 light 2 light 3 and light 4 are on and then when start button is pressed and then released and the light saw button is turned on then light 1 light 2 light 3 and light 4 will be off and the exit light will be on and this exit light should remain on for 15 seconds only for that we will use a timer here for exit light and that should be tp i will change time base to 1 second and reset value as 15 and then click on apply so when we turn on light saw button then all these lights will be off and the exit light the light which is at the exit door of that building will be off it will turn on and it will remain on for 15 seconds only after that this exit light will also turn off and then i will insert a new rung here and then i will insert a normally open contact and i will assign address to it as m zero and also i will insert one more normally closed contact and i will assign address to it as i 0 0.1 sorry i 0 0.2 i will also add symbol to it as sensor which will detect the presence of car at the parking and after that i will use one more normally closed contact and i will assign address to it as q 0 0.4 which is the exit light and then i will insert a coil and i will assign address to the coil as q 0 0.5 I will also add symbol to it as parking light. Yes. So, when start button is pressed and released, M0 gets activated. And when M0 gets activated, that is storing the data that start button was pressed. And then, when light saw button is turned on, then light 1 light 2 light 3 and light 4 will turn off these lights were on in the initial when lights off button was not turned on as we are using here these coils as negated so it means we are here implementing not yet so when lights off button is turned on the outputs will turn off so light 1 will turn off light 2 will turn off light 3 will turn off and also light 4 will turn off so all the lights inside the building will turn off and also the exit light will turn on so this light is placed at the exit door so this exit light will be on and it will remain on for 15 seconds so here we have used a timer pulse timer so it will pass current through it for 15 seconds only and in those 15 seconds exit light will remain on and after that it will not pass current and as a result this will turn off and when start button is pressed and released this m0 gets to the current flows through it and the exit light when exit lights were off and also and also the sensor 
is off. That is, there is no car present in the parking. Then also, parking lights will be off. So here, we will insert one more normally open contact here. And I will assign address to it as I 0.1, which is lights off. So this parking light will be on when the lights are off. So, I will exit full screen mode and then I will compile the program I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. And then I will start controller to do so click OK. So I will go to programming tab and click on full screen. So as you can see here light 1, light 2, light 3, light 4 are initially on. So these are the lights inside the building. So these lights are off. So we will turn on the push button, the start button. So, I will press it and then release it. So, the control system will start working. So, when start button is pressed, then all other things will happen. So, when light saw button is turned on, then what happens is, these all lights inside the building will turn off and the exit light will turn on for 15 seconds. So this light is at the exit door. So it will be on for 15 seconds. And after that, it will turn off. And also the parking lights will be on because the sensor is detecting that there is no car. So if there is a car, so this sensor gets activated, then the parking lights will be off. So it was all about this example. Thank you for watching.